Hello everybody, and today we're going to be doing another video. In today's video, we're just going to be kind of continuing my Home Depot video. I'm only going to talk about one animatronic in this video, but there is a few other animatronics I don't think I talked about last video. Um, uh, because uh, a few more got um, kind of leaked more um, uh, on the 14th, and I posted that on, on the 14th, but it was like, like I filmed that on the 13th. Uh, but I... I think I didn't talk about that Reaper. There's a 12 foot Reaper. I don't think I talked about him, but he is really cool. Um, the 12 foot Reaper, um, like it looks like he's floating. Like it's a nice Reaper too. It, he's like all dirty looking, but he's 12 feet tall and it looks like he's like hovering and is he's like holding the Sith like this, and it looks fantastic. It looks pretty impressive and I'm really excited to see that. Even though I'm not really on the trend of the 12 foot stuff, I'm not really. A, big fan of that because I have no room to put him besides outside and I don't think 12 foot stuff look out good outside my house because my house is kind of small but besides that I, he looks great I think it's one of the best 12 foot props it might be even my favorite 12 foot one and he looks great I think he looks great another one I didn't talk about is the scarecrow I know I didn't talk about the scarecrow for sure um, the scarecrow was shown like the day after Looks okay. Um, you can watch another video on that. I, I don't really want to talk about him. It's not my thing. There's also a three foot clown that also got shown. Uh, but we don't really know what he looks like because we just see like the back of him and it's really pixelated. So I also won't talk about it because we don't know him at all. We only saw the back of his head and it was like really, really pixelated. So we couldn't really tell. But there's another one that I really want to talk about. And we finally got a, a decent look at him, I guess. Not really decent, but somewhat like of like a figure like we like a figure that we can probably predict on how you look in like in person um and that's Nosferatu um aka Count Orlock uh, so originally we thought um or I did um uh, I thought it was gonna be based on the original 1922 I think it was 1922 uh, movie uh, of Nosferatu the original one but it looks like it's not like, it kind of looks like a different Nosferatu. Like, it looks like an original Nosferatu, basically. Um, which is fine. I, th I think he looks great in the picture. I'll show the picture right now, actually. So, yeah, he... It definitely does not look like the original Nosferatu. But it's a Nosferatu, at least. Or a, just a, dra a vampire, or whatever. Um, but he... I think he looks good like i can't really tell because it's kind of hard to see it but it's obviously not the original one but looks like nosferatu looks like how i would think of him um even if it was not the original i that's what you want from him like the clothes with the the golden stuff on it the long fingernails i think the fingernails should have been a little longer kind of looks like i don't know a little too short kind of looks like the you know the traditional seasonal vision hands it's probably is it's probably just a reskin and the head, I think it looks great. I think the head looks pretty good there. Um, again, we don't know how he looks fully because this is all, like a really like far away picture. Another thing that people have noticed is that he kind of has a similar pose to the Boogeyman, and I do own the Boogeyman, and I do kind of see that. I'm like he has the hunchback. He's standing up pretty straight, sort of, and he kind of has the same arm poses and leg pose. I don't, I don't know if I'm really a fan of that, because I didn't really want him to be 8 feet tall, um, because the Boogeyman's 8 feet tall, I didn't really want him to be super freaking tall, I was just hoping he would be like, something like 6'5 or something, like, you know, the accurate size, or accurate, like, whatever, I just think these bigger props are not as scary or intimidating to me, I know for a lot of people they are, but for me, I like more of, like, the human size stuff. I think the human size stuff is just more creepy because it's more realistic to me. But nonetheless, he looks great. I think he's going to be a great prop. I think he's going to be one of the top sellers, hopefully. Because Nosferatu, we haven't gotten a prop of him, uh, I, I guess, like, two years ago. Because I think the distortions was also two years ago. But I meant, like, an, like an animatronic. Um, I think it wasn't until the morbid one i think the morbid one was the last one i don't remember another one uh, the morbid one was okay i didn't i wasn't really a fan of it but it was based on the original version and i the distortions one oh my god I, that's like um, that's like freaking perfect i think the distortions one is 
freaking fantastic. And I definitely think this is probably the second best one. There's another thing I didn't really like what I saw. I think there's another image somewhere online. I don't know where it's at. I couldn't find it. I swear, there was another picture I saw where the eyes were lighting up and it was like really yellow or something. And I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I don't know if I'm a fan of his eye lighting up. Of course, it might look better in person, but I wanted him to actually have eyes. And of course, he could have eyes and it just lights up yellow, but I could, it kind of looked like it was just yellow um, from the picture I saw. Again, I can't find it again. I'm sorry that I can't show it, but I'm sure most of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I do like him. I do like him. I just, there's just some things I didn't really like from what I saw, but again, could be good in person. Maybe he is like six feet. Maybe he is like seven feet somewhere around there and i would be much more fine with that but it, it's kind of hard to tell right now obviously by the by the picture nosferatu is a classic if you guys have not watched it watch it i think it's free on youtube right now go ahead and watch it i believe the the reboot as well i forgot what it's called the Nosfer nosferatu the vampire i think it was called that's a pretty damn good movie like that's a pretty freaking good movie i'm not gonna lie um, and there's another one coming out this year, um, in December, like, right on Christmas, too, which was kind of weird to me. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is uh, disgusting today. Uh, but, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what Home Depot has in store this, this year, really. I am. Like, Home Depot, you, dang, you've been killing it. Like, for the last two years, you have been my favorite. Home Depot has always been my favorite, to be honest. Um, I think it's always been better. Like, at least for the non-licensed stuff, I think they have always been the best. Uh, but for licensed stuff, it's obviously gotta go to Spirit, but might change because they got that Frankenstein this year and I'm might be thinking about it but we're gonna have to see because I did hear some gremlin stuff and stuff like that we'll see uh, but yeah that's basically about it for this video basically all I want to talk about see ya